A lot of people have asked me for my opinion on the Olo 3D printer from Kickstarter. Stay tuned, I'll tell you what my opinion is. I had seen the Olo Kickstarter video that Angus at Maker's Muse did. In fact, he did two of them, and he did a great job. And I've had a lot of people asking me my opinion about this little 3D printer. If you haven't seen it, it's a little resin-based printer, real small, but you use your phone. And that produces the images that gets hardened into a 3D print. So I'm not going to go into all the technical details because, frankly, I don't know. You know, I, I, I've never seen an Olo. I haven't talked to the people. It may be good. It may be bad. All I can tell you is this. I've had four successful Kickstarter projects. So I know how this all works. I have a very good understanding of the whole process. And bottom line is, I don't know how they're doing it for 99 bucks. In fact, the early bird were $79. See, I, I did uh, a Arduino Shield. It's a chip kit shield, Chipino shield, whatever you want to call it. I put it out there and it was successful. I met my, exceeded my target and I built up a ton of them and shipped them out, but it, it really didn't take off huge. I did a follow up to that was the shield adapter. And that's where you can plug a sh Arduino type shield and use it on a breadboard. And this was successful. And it was a lot of work. I designed the boards. I did a lot of the manufacturing. I or I had people manufacture it for me. And it's a lot of steps, a lot of hidden costs that you don't factor in. And I learned a lot. The one that really taught me, though, is I did a computer. And it was called the Basic Box because it's based on a basic computer, similar to like the old Commodore 64 or um, TRS-80, Apple II. But it was designed by Jeff Graham out of Australia. And he open sourced the design. And there's a company that did the board. And uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, C Circuit Gizmos did a board of it. But you still had to wire up a bunch of stuff. And I thought, well, that's kind of tough for people to get started. So I actually designed a nice acrylic box. I also made a wood version. Put it together as a kit, fully assembled. And then I wrote a book teaching you how to, how to get started with it. You know, projects to do. And I thought this was a great way to introduce kids to programming and the same way I learned when I was a kid with basic same way Steve Jobs and and Bill Gates we all learned by programming basic so I launched this one and, and it met the target but it was a $99 computer oh did I learn from this one because the manufacturing of the box I made like you know five prototypes everything went smooth but once I had to build a hundred of them now my laser cutter guy said he's having a hard time with outgassing on the plastic. It destroyed one of his lenses. Bottom line is I had to buy a whole bunch of plastic to produce like 150 units just to make 100 good ones. And then there were problems with some of the parts that I used in the prototypes. I couldn't get them in volume, so I had to find substitutes. At the end of the day, in order to ship everything that I had to do, including the book, the book, I even had problems getting the the book printed and I've I've published many books. At the end of the day it ended up costing me about a thousand dollars to get all the the boxes shipped out. Now I could have said hey I ran out of money and just not ship but you know I'm not gonna do that. People paid me to get this thing so I did it and like I said it cost me money to, to do it. And that's kind of where I stopped until I did the beginner's guide to 3D printing, which again was successful, not huge, but you know this book was supported by some of you in the audience. So after going through all this, I have really learned a lot about Kickstarter. And that's why I really question, can Olo deliver this thing for even $99? And some of the early birds were 79, but Kickstarter takes 5%. Amazon Payments takes another 5%. So right off the top, you're losing 10%. So every $100 Olo printer is now, they're only getting $90. And then you've got all that mechanisms in there to, you know, to lift the thing out of the fluid and just the packaging and everything itself. You know, everyone says, well, you can make it up and volume. No, because just like this proved to me, sometimes volume creates problems that you don't see in the prototype. 
So I don't know if it's real or not, but I just don't see how they can do it for $99. And the fact is they only asked for 80,000. They said they could produce units for 80,000 and now they're at like 1.4 million. So my question is why would you back that then? If they've already got their 80,000, they said they can go and produce this thing. Sit back and wait for them to produce it. I mean, that's what Kickstarter is about. You're supposed to be funding them to make something that they've designed, something that they believe in, something they want to bring to the world. And I encourage that. I've supported many Kickstarter projects. But at the end of the day, they got to be able to deliver it and hopefully make enough off of it profit wise that they can launch a business so you can buy them after the Kickstarter. Now you probably pay a little more and that's another thing. If someone is launching a Kickstarter I learned you really need to charge almost double because of all the hidden costs and everything in developing yet most Kickstarters undercut it trying to get you to join them. So what's a $200 maybe 3D printer they're only going to charge you $100 because they want you to, to fund their growth. And what they're really doing is selling themselves short. And that could be what Olo's doing. I don't know. I, the fact that they've already reached their target and gone way beyond it, let it go. That's, I'm going to sit back and see if this thing becomes a reality. But by backing it now, it doesn't get you one really any sooner. In fact, I've seen some Kickstarters where they're still shipping product out and you can buy the thing. And people got pissed because they're still waiting for theirs and people are now buying them at a higher price <laughs> and getting theirs. And what they were doing is using the profits from those to build the ones for the that were backed by Kickstarter, you know, the, the original Kickstarter backers. So people who waited were actually getting units before those who backed it in the first place. Only because of the flow of money. So that's all I'm saying is if you want to back it, go for it. If you think you're going to get one, fantastic. Let me know how it goes. I'm just going to wait and see because I just I just don't think that they can deliver what they're promising for $99. To me, that's at least a $250 unit. And then I don't want to tie up my phone like Angus pointed out. I don't want to tie up my phone for four hours to make a 3D printer. I'll go print it on a, a Fabricator Mini for around 200 bucks, And then I don't have to use my phone at all. So... Anyway, that's my two cents on the Olo. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. See you on Filament Friday.